This is my model of Baltimore that I'm building. It's out of paper, really. Now, today, what I'm working on, I'm beginning the Leward Baltimore Hotel, which goes right next to the B&O building, which you see right there in the center. And over here at the desk is where I do all the work. I'm using the yellow paper today, because I can only find yellow paper. And on it, I have lines that I'm beginning to draw so that I can place where the windows will be. I use little black pieces of paper like this to figure out where I'm going to, how I'm going to space the windows. They're not very exact, but they do help me figure out what I'm doing. Now, after marking where I want the windows to be, I'm putting a little dot on the paper where I placed all those little black windows to help me figure out where they go, I now will draw lines across the page, which will tell me where I need to cut the windows because I cut them out with a razor blade but I gotta know where they are so this is how I do it you'll see after a while how it all comes out now you see I have the spacing of these windows which are the back of the hotel they are spaced out one, two, one, three, two, one. That's how they are in the pictures. And you'd have to go inside the hotel to see why they spaced them that way, but I don't know the reason, but I just know that that's how they are. So now I'll draw these same dots down at the bottom of the page and then I'll draw the lines and then we'll have the windows ready to be cut out. The lines are drawn and we're ready to cut out the windows. I usually use razor blades. This is a brand new razor blade. And so we'll take the paper off of it. And I'll start to cut out the windows that we're going to have for the building. And usually I cut all the way across one direction. I'll just do a few here. Then after I've done everything cutting that way, I turn the paper. And then I'll cut this way. Like that. And then, just take a pencil and pop the windows out like that. In the back, you pull them off. And we will do that many, many times to get all the windows cut out for the whole building. This is the, this is the east wall, and over here is the back wall of the Lord Baltimore. I've already done all the cutting with the blade. Some of the windows have popped out. Now all I have to do is just push them through with a pencil like this. And we've got lots of little pieces of paper that'll pop through. See how that works. And then I pull off from the back. This paper is red on the back, as you can see. It has nothing to do with the color of the building. It's just that I found a piece of paper that was yellow on one side and red on the other. Usually my paper is white cardstock, but since this building was so big. I used a poster board because the poster board is uh, is big enough so that I don't have to have uh, spliced pieces on this hotel, if that makes any sense to you. And now here it is. All the windows are cut out of these, uh, the east and the back wall. And I've already, before I got that done, I got the other walls done in the front and on the west side. And you know when you cut out all these windows you get big piles of of scrap. Can't do anything with these, just throw them all out. Now, as you can see, got the, all, the whole thing together now. And now I got a spray paint. This is some primer paint and I'll use that to give it a good shot of uh, 
red color primer. And see, that way it'll also cover up the different paint lines, uh, not paint lines, pencil lines that are on here from, from when I did the windows. Good thing about this primer is it dries really fast. That's a great thing. Now that the primer is all done, it's time to start painting the color I want. This particular color is not a whole lot different than the primer. The paint is done on the building. Now all I have to do is I have to mask off a few places where there will be a different color. So that's what we're going to do now. We start with this blue tape, start to mask, and then you'll see I got a lot of concrete color stuff that has to be up in these windows up here. So I got to start, I got to mask it all off. All the windows are masked now. I'm ready to give it a spray. And then we'll paint by hand to get the right color after this dries. Now you can see I am painting the individual windows with the concrete color that they need to have. They need to have one there. Now I'm peeling off the tape and you can see the different individual windows as they're masked and painted. Now everything is painted up, looks nice. Got the concrete part around the windows. Now we have to put a piece of paper across on the other side of course so that it'll look like there are actually windows in place. So I got some paper here and I have to cut out very thin pieces of paper. Like that. And what we'll do is we'll glue that to the inside here. Cross these like this. And of course all the way across and it'll end up making it look like individual little windows. And so I gotta cut out lots of these papers like this. Strips, many strips. And then when we are finished we'll glue them all in and then the windows will look complete. Now all of the strips are glued on and this is what it looks like on the other side. Right. You can see all the windows in place. Now I use poster board and because this makes a good inside of the building. It's a nice structure and keeps things kind of from falling apart. And what I do is spray paint it gray and that way it'll look like the windows inside are gray.
painted poster board is now ready to be cut up and to be placed on the inside of the building to help support it, hold it together. I've put some glue down on the back of the building and I've cut this piece of uh, poster board so now we'll put it down. I'll put it this way. Glue it on here and it just hold this down for a little while until it dries. And that's how it goes. Now as you can see it's starting to starting to come together. Now with the poster board reinforcing the building, it looks nice and tall. What we need to do now is put a roof on it and then we've got to add the tower which goes on top. We have to start over from the beginning with that because it's uh, just like the rest of the building. I have to cut out the windows and fold it and do all the things and make it just like it's almost like a second building on top of this building. Now we're ready to start putting the tower on top. That piece of cut out cardboard which will fit up here and that's going to be where the tower base is based on. And I've already started cutting out part of the uh, what the tower sits on top of here. So we'll get that on there, cut out the windows, put a little roof on this and then make the tower over top and we'll be all set. Now you can see the tower is actually starting to come together here. That's the base of the tower. And I've cut out the uh, just like before the uh, windows or the pieces that will become the tower as this comes together it sits on top. Of course, I'm ready now to poke all these out just like we've done before. And I'll make the windows and paint this, put it on top. And Before you know it, the tower will be all done. Now we have part of our tower ready to go up on top of the building. And then on top of this, I'll build the mansard part that goes on top. And then we'll start putting trim on the building. Now you can see the towers be getting the tape shape up on the top. Cereal boxes always make good material to, to make things out of, so I'm actually doing some, making some of the trim for that uh, roof of the tower there out of this uh, cereal box. We're just cutting out strips right now, and I will put the strips on the roof, and you'll see how they look. These are the these are the strips on the roof. I've, I've uh, I haven't glued that tower up there yet on the building, so I take it off and and I work on this. And you can see that I'm gonna have to put these all around all these strips that I cut. And then of course this will get painted the copper color of the roof, and the strips will just make it look like nice sections of the copper that's up there on the roof of the building. Now that I got this much of that roof done. It's time to put a little paint on because this is a copper roof. So we use a copper color. Then I have to put dormers on there. There will be eight sets of windows, dormers, on this roof. I have to make those too. But we'll put the basic paint on first. Now you can see that I got the roof pretty much done. Dormers. And all the little designs. There's a chimney up there. Now that that's all finished, now I can do the trim on the building. And now the building is finally completed. All the trim is there, and we can now put it in the model. And there it is.